Hello there. This is Jing from the Megress Academy. In this video, we are talking about the pigeonhole principle. The pigeonhole principle says if you have k pigeonholes and k plus one pigeons, there will be two pigeons in the pigeonhole. That sounds really theoretical, right? Really abstract. And if you Google um, some of the examples in uh, using the pigeonhole principle, you will find these examples are very theoretical as well. So what I tell my elementary school students is that um, we have to use the worst case scenario kind of thinking in this type of problems by pretending ourselves as the most unfortunate people in the worst case scenario. So some of the words to look for are at least how many, to make sure, to ensure. So I'm going to give an example directly from the context of the pigeons and the pigeonholes. So the example goes like this. There are three pigeonholes. At least how many pigeons must there be to ensure that there are two pigeons in the pigeonhole? So we know that one pigeon would definitely not work, right? So if we have one pigeon and three pigeon holes, the pigeon can go into just one of the pigeon holes and no pigeons will be in the other two pigeon holes. So you will not be able to satisfy the condition that you want there are two pigeons in the pigeon hole. How about we add one more pigeon? So if we have two pigeons and we have three pigeon holes, in this situation, if you get lucky, you can have the two pigeons in the same pigeon hole and no pigeons in the other two pigeon holes. However, so let's say this is lucky. So this is when you are lucky. However, you can also get very unlucky by having one of each, right? You can get one pigeon in one pigeon hole and the other pigeon in another pigeon hole and no pigeons in the last pigeon hole. So this is when you get unlucky. But the unlucky situation exists. So you cannot make sure there will be two pigeons in the pigeon hole when you only have two pigeons and you have three pigeon holes. So let's see if we add two, we add two, not two more, we add one more pigeon to the two pigeons. Now we have three pigeons and we still have three pigeon holes, right? So if we get really lucky, we can have three of the pigeons in the same pigeon hole and no pigeons in the other two pigeon holes. And so this is very lucky, right? And uh, we can still get lucky by having two pigeons in the same pigeon hole and no pigeons in the other two pigeon holes. In this way, we can still satisfy that there are two pigeons in the pigeon hole. However, we will always have to consider the unlucky situation when we have one of each. So one pigeon in one pigeon hole and one the other one in the other pigeon hole and the last pigeon in the last pigeon hole. So when you are unlucky, you cannot satisfy the condition, right? So now what we can do is that we can add one more pigeon. So now we have four pigeons, four pigeons. And this is exactly what the pigeonhole principle says because we have three pigeonholes. Now we have three plus one. This is three plus one pigeons, right? And let's see if in this way we can satisfy there are two pigeons in the pigeonhole, no matter what, right? So the first way is the first way to arrange these four pigeons when we have three pigeon holes is to have all of the pigeons in the same pigeon hole. Of course, in this way, we satisfy there will be one pigeon hole with two pigeons. The other way, the second way is to have three pigeons in the same pigeon hole and one pigeon in a second pigeon hole and no pigeons in the last pigeon hole. 
here we still so this one we satisfy this check we also satisfy right now what can happen is that we can also have just two pigeons in the first pigeonhole and the other two in another pigeonhole and no pigeons in the last pigeonhole we also satisfy that there will be one pigeonhole with two pigeons the last way to arrange these four pigeons into the pigeonholes is to have two pigeons in the first pigeonhole then one pigeon in another pigeonhole and the last pigeon in the last pigeonhole in this situation i mean this is the most unlucky situation right because you get one of each here but even when you are in the worst case scenario you still satisfy that there will be two pigeons in the pigeonhole so no matter what happens right so this is no matter what happens or no matter which way you arrange it even in the worst situation you have two pigeons in the pigeonhole so i hope you have learned something today and in our next video, we are going to see how we can apply the pigeonhole principle to a real world problem. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye bye.